why this game failed this one or this one thousands of games released on stream every single day and only four percent of games get success more than 80 to 90 percent of indie game developers get failed according to a survey a big number of game developers quit in very few years after making their first game study says 75 percent of steam accounts publish only one game and they never come back if you are thinking to start game development or already been in this field then don't skip this video after all these facts and figures only one question which comes to our mind is what are the reason behind this failure of indie game developers there are top five reasons behind the failure of an indie game developer we're not not gonna drag this video so long and we are going to learn about those reasons straightforward so let's begin reason one not treating game development as a business yes you heard right many indie game developers start making games because they love the creative process they have great ideas and they are passionate about bringing them to life however they often overlook the business side of game development making a game is not just about the coding and design it's also about managing a project like business this means setting a budget and sticking to it understanding the market to see what players want and planning your finance without treating game development as a business it is easy to run into problems you might spend too much money on unnecessary features miss opportunities to reach your target audience reason 2 the poor planning imagine starting a road trip without a map or destination you might enjoy the journey for a while but eventually you will get lost run out of gas and end up frustrated this is exactly what happened to many indie game developers who don't plan properly without a solid plan it is easy to get lost in excitement of creating game you need more than just a great idea you need a clear road map think of it like this your game design is your destination what will be the gameplay like what challenges will player face how will the story and full. Having a detailed game design document is like having GPS for your journey which will guide you every single step of the way. Then there are your development timelines. Breaking your project into smaller milestones with deadlines is crucial. Imagine trying to build a house without a schedule. Chaos, right? Setting timeline helps you to track progress and ensure you're moving forward at a steady pace. Now, let's come to budget management. Budget management is another key aspect. It is like planning a trip on a budget. You need to know how much money you have and how to allocate this wisely. Spend too much money on one part of project and you might not have enough left for other important areas like marketing or post-launch support. Unrealistic expectation of earnings. Imagine this. You are an indie game developer with fantastic game idea and you start developing. Dreaming of the day your game developer will hit the market and make you rich overnight. But here is a harsh truth. Most of indie games don't become hit. Many developers enter the industry with the sky high hopes of making significant profit quickly. They imagine their game topping the charts, earning rave reviews and generating a lot of money. While it is great to dream big, but it is crucial to stay in the ground reality. The truth is, the majority of indie games don't even make a lot of money right away. Some ever do. Unrealistic financial expectation can lead to disappointment and burnout when those big earnings don't materialize. Instead of banking on the instant success, approach your game development with realistic goals. Focus on creating the best game you can. Number 4. Focusing only on game development Yeah, this is also a big problem with indie game developers. Imagine you have created an amazing game. The graphics are stunning. The gameplay is smooth, the story is very amazing. But there is a problem. No one is playing because no one knows it exists. Many indie game developers fall into the trap of focusing only on the game developer. While creating a great game is crucial, it is equally important to focus on marketing, community building and network growth. Without these elements, even the best games can go unnoticed. Think of marketing as a spotlight that shines on your game. You need to create a buzz and excitement around your project. This involves promoting your game on social media, creating trailers, reaching out gaming websites and influencers and maybe even running ads. If people don't hear about your game, they won't play. By balancing the game development with the marketing, community building and network, you increase your chances of success. Number 5 and the last one leaving current project and changing inspiration. This is the biggest problem with our indie game developers. For example, imagine you have halfway through a writing novel, but suddenly you get a brilliant new idea for any other book. You drop your current project and start working on new one. After a few months, you get another idea and switch again. Before you know it, you have several half-finished books and nothing to show off your efforts. This scenario is all too common among indie game developers. It is easy to lose interest in your current projects and jump into a new idea that seems more exciting. But the constant switching can prevent any project from being completed. When you leave unfinished projects all the time and your efforts you have put into it will go waste. 
plus starting over means you never get to see your ideas come into life which can incredibly discouraging staying committed on a single project until completion is a key of success so i have completed all the factors and reason behind the failure of indie game developers if you find the value in this video then hit the like button and press the subscribe button to get more updates and thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video